Hello and welcome back to another Pro Python tutorial by Mastercard Online. My name's Tom. And before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. It keeps me motivated to keep these tutorials coming. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about if statements in list comprehension. That is correct. We can actually use an if statement in list comprehension. So in the last couple of tutorials, we saw that list comprehension allows us to um, iterate through lists uh, with a lot less code and the performance is most likely a lot better. So let's go ahead and create a list. A is going to represent our list that's going to contain some strings. So we'll say hello world. Uh, we'll say hi and we'll say uh, hello YouTube. All right. So there's our list. We can call it, see that there's three objects, string objects contained in this list. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to check if these are alphabetic characters in here. So we're going to use is alpha string method. Now, I can tell you right now, this is going to be false. This is going to be true, and this is going to be false. And the reason why this is false is because we contain a white space right here. That's not an alphabetic character, correct? So these are going to return false, and this is going to return true. So what we're going to do is go ahead and create another list, and we're going to um, append any character or any object that is all alphabetic which is just high here in this case so let's go ahead and do this let's do c is equal to um, our list comprehension so b dot append and we're going to throw i in here and we're going to say for i in a if i is oops, is alpha all right so what's going on here all right, first off, the for loop right here is ran. So for i in a, all right, so we're iterating through each one. Then it's checking if i is alpha. So if i is alpha, um, and like I said, it can't contain white space, so it's going to say false for this one, true for this one, false for this one, all right? And it's just going to append high. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's call b, and you'll notice we append high. All right, so there you go. We ran an if statement in list comprehension. As you can see, this is a lot shorter than going like this. So let's go ahead and write this out, um, how you would do it with a for loop. So for i in a, all right, and then we're going to come down and say if i dot is alpha like this, and then we're going to tab in one more and say b append Oops, append i and then we'll come down here and call b and now we got two highs all right so it as you can see it's a lot easier to write in list comprehension than it is to write it out like this because now you're dealing with indentations and colons and what have you all right so once you get comfortable you'll enjoy writing in list comprehension so let's go ahead and take a look at one more list comprehension um uh, example here and what we're going to do is create another empty list so let's do uh, d is equal to an empty list all right uh, and we're going to do uh, let's do e and what what we I'm trying to think of what we should do here let's go ahead and um, let's check if these are not uh, title case so the first letter of each word should be a uh, capital. Uh, we're going to check that, and if it's not, we're going to make it a capital. So let's do that. So let's do is e, and then in the list, let's do uh, d dot append. So we're going to append i dot title like this, and this is what actually converts the string to title case. All right. Um, for i in a if not i dot is title like that all right so let's talk about what's going on here before we go ahead and take a look at it so we're running the for loop all right so we're iterating through our list up here a all right and then then we're checking if not so if it's not title case which none of these are all right um then we're going to go ahead and uh, append the list using um, i title and that method 
convert our strings to title case. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And I got none. Why did I get none? I shouldn't have got none. Oh, I called the wrong one. There we go. D. <laughs> there we go. Um, so there you go. You see we got hello world, hi, and hello YouTube. And they're all title case, uppercase letters here. So that's using if statements in list comprehension. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Help keep me motivated to keep these videos coming.